Hi guys. Now this is just a really quick video on one of the topics that comes up all the time for almost everybody. How do I deal with negative people, especially if I am starting to become aware of who I am on a greater scale? Because let's face it, these people are still in our lives. So how do we deal with them? And I can share one way of dealing with them that I find extremely effective, that many of my clients and people that I know have tried. And therefore, I'm going to share this with you because there's nothing worse than being in circumstances that don't reflect who we are or what we want and what we want to embody and what we want to experience. And many of us who have become aware that we are unconditional love still find themselves often in situations and relationships where they cannot express their divine loving self at all with these people because they feel hindered and restricted by them. Now, as aware people, we know it's not the other person's fault. It's always something within us or how we choose to see things, look at things and deal with things. But fact is, we are in those situations and we have to deal with them if we want to move up, if we want to raise our vibration even further. So what do we do? You've possibly all or many of you have heard of that saying, if you think you're enlightened, go spend a week with your family. And I love this because there's so much truth to this. Now, most of us would say, I love my family and all the rest, and they're not just the only ones that are difficult. There's lots of people in life that are difficult, but oftentimes they can trigger things in us, aspects in us and behaviors and emotional reactions that we have been conditioned or that we have allowed others to condition us into and to train us into that we can shed though. And that is the key. So how do we deal with difficult and negative people? And I want to give one example of a person, um, a woman who as an adult still has huge issues with her mother. And one thing is that she feels guilty not giving enough time and attention to her mother. And the mother is very attention seeking and very manipulative in the way she asks or demands for the attention and the daughter feels guilty most of the time because she always feels she's not giving enough and if she is for example giving her time on the phone listening to the mother sharing um, supporting her it is still not enough and she always feels bad afterwards and i know so many of you can relate to this now whether it's your mother your father somebody else you feel like you give and it does not make you feel good. And yet if you don't, you feel even worse because you feel guilty, you feel selfish, you feel cold hearted and you don't want to feel that and you don't want to be a bad daughter or a bad friend or whatever. So usually you tend to go down the same route that you have always done, which is not satisfactory and the suffering increases. I call it suffering. It might be a bit less for you, but for some people it can actually develop into suffering with this relationship. So what's the answer? The answer is, who are you? Who are you? And as somebody who is aware and awake, you know, I am that I am. I am unconditional love. Okay, so I'm unconditional love down here in a body, in an environment with lots of duality, lots of contrast, lots of non so unconditional loving situations, emotions, thoughts and whatnots. But I am unconditional love. So how can I be more of that with that person, with that relationship? And one way of doing that is allowing yourself to be more loving with that person. Now that might require different types of interventions. 
that you might think. So do I have to give more? Do I have to be more present? Do I have to listen more? Do I have to support more? No. It's not giving in to manipulation by the other person. It's asking, what would unconditional love do? Unconditional love would love, which means love is a state of being. So if you're on the phone with that person, let's say in this case, the woman with her mother, she feels terrible on the phone. She doesn't want to listen to this. She feels agitated. She feels aggressive. She feels manipulated. She feels used. She feels annoyed. And yet she wants to be a good daughter, a good human being. Putting her heart into this, that's why she does it. But she does not feel love. So how can she feel more love? She can feel more love by loving herself. Which means looking out for herself and her needs. If she does things that make her feel bad, like being on the phone to her mother, she's not looking out for her needs. And that's not the same as selfishness and cold-heartedness. It means self-love. My inner being is telling me something here and it's about valuing what your inner being is telling you. My inner being is telling me, this is not good. <laughs> the vibes, the energies, the frequencies, my emotions are not good. I don't feel good. And we know that our emotions and our feelings are our, are our guiding system. So if that's the message we're getting, we can honor that message. We can honor our own feelings. And if we do that, we can start then to experience the love for us and, and that will open up the pathway of love to that other person. And that pathway could be, I'm honoring what I feel when we are together. So the better thing for me is not to be together or in interaction that often because I'm more helpful with my frequency, with my positive or more positive vibration for you if I don't interact with you. I can send you love, dear mother, dear friend, dear father, dear teacher, dear whatever. I can send you love when I don't interact with you because then I don't have to feel the difficult feelings and emotions that prevent me from feeling the love. So when I'm actually interacting with you less, it doesn't mean that you have to cut that person out of your life, but by interacting less and being more truthful and honoring of your own emotions and of your own guidance system, then there's less resentment, less aggravation. And with that, comes the ability to send love and positive vibes and thoughts to that person every day. You can do it because they're not agitating you. They're not getting on your nerves by being on the phone or by telling you things or by just being themselves. Now, that is one way that absolutely works because everything is energy. And if you trust and believe that everything is energy, Every thought you hold, every emotion you feel is energy and has an effect on everything, on the field, the universal field that we're all a part of, we're all connected. So you are connected to that difficult person. So by not interacting with them as much, your thoughts and vibrations towards them become much more positive, which means they can receive something from you. Maybe not on the interactional level, but even on a better level. And if you practice that state of being more with them, sending them love, sending, sending them good thoughts, because all of a sudden it becomes possible because you don't have to deal with the day-to-day -day stuff they're throwing on you, then you will also discover that when you are interacting with them, those positive thoughts and vibrations 
will have created a different state of being when you are with them. Now, I invite you to try this. I think it's a very practical tool to deal with situations like that. It's practical, it's down to earth, it is something we can do and I invite you to try it in the spirit of love. So if you say, I want to be a good daughter, I want to be loving, I want to be caring and I want to be giving, you need to get into the feeling state of that. And if interacting with that person makes it difficult, interact less, get into that feeling state, be the good daughter from a distance for a while, see how that works out. You can even write a card, not even looking for a response, but that way you can send out or share your good thoughts or what you practice and giving that person something tangible, if this is what you feel like doing, without having to interact and see if that works for you. And I would love to hear your comments on that. Uh, feel free also to send me an email on my website, healingandtransformation.com get in contact. If you have questions, send them in. I will answer them. So on that note, talk to you soon.